La. La Llorona. La Llorona. La Llorona. Huh? That's what we're reviewing today. And it's from the producers of the Conjuring Universe. Yeah. It's um, rated R. It's one of those movies that captivates you from the start. Because it's, you know, it's kind of based off of a um, folklore. Um, or more of a local legend, so to speak. And it's very captivating. It's a different type of movie. It does kind of sneak peek a little bit of, what's the word, um, kind of sneaky sneaky in there and let you know that it's part of the Conjuring universe, but it's not really a Conjuring movie. Not like Annabelle, it doesn't tie like Annabelle does, but it, it kind of, well, I would say yeah, but in the same sense it more or less ties into the Annabelle series, not the Conjuring. But if the Annabelle series is part of the Conjuring, then La Llorona has to be part of the Conjuring. So the way they do this, spoiler alert, guys, the way they do this is the priest from both those movies, the Annabelle and the Conjuring, is in this movie. And, you know, it kind of gives you hints like, oh, yeah, I was part of the um, Annabelle. But... Yeah, it, it's it's not a bad movie. It, it's one of those movies where you're just like, huh, I see what they did there. Um, it has really good angles, good camera angles, good video transitions. And it has some points, um, uh, some points to where in the movie where you're like, come on, do they really do that? And... It, it's just kind of frustrating in some of the aspects, and I'll explain why. Uh, one is the um, priest, not the old priest, but the Mexican priest, or Hispanic priest, whatever you want to call him, uh, is, he knows what he's doing, but he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, he, he's more of just risking it. He's like, let's do this and see if it works. And then, then he does stuff, and it doesn't work. I'm just like, okay, one sec, it does work, and one sec, it doesn't work. Like, come on, man. He's kind of inconsistent. He's one of the most inconsistent characters. Yeah, he's a good actor, don't get me wrong, but he's an inconsistent character. The This movie relies on the kids. It really does. That's its foundation, is the kids. The kids hold this movie together. It... It makes you wonder, and it's just like... Uh, I think the best scene, though, with uh, in this movie in general, but also with the kids, is when the two brothers are in the orphanage. And, another spoiler alert, one of them's kind of like this sleepwalk stage. And that's the whole gimmick of the movie, is... La Llorona gets you in this, like, um kind of sleep stance to whatever kid they're possessing. And they kind of describe it pretty well um, near towards the end of the movie. Where at the beginning of the movie, you're just like, what the world? And then, you know, it's so on and so forth. And the priest from the Conjuring series, is more, or Annabelle series, is more reluctant to actually intervene. And that's why the Hispanic priest is involved because of this and he's been actually doing his research of La La Roma. And uh, the backstory is done right in aspects, but um, in some sense it's just like, okay, it makes sense. I like the character. She's intimidating because she looks, you know, she's kind of like the nun in aspects, but I wouldn't compare it in the frightening sense because um, the nun's actually based off a real demon. Whereas this is just an angry spirit. There's a two difference between angry spirit and demon. Okay, um, angry spirits can turn end up turning into demons, but that's another story for another day. Um, 
it's shot well. I think the filter makes it, it gives it its vibe. It gives it its, its more authentic vibe. It has a more authenticity in, in, um, in its own aspect, whereas the Conjuring, it's, it's got a realism to it. That's what makes it kind of authentic. But it's like, you know, it's a movie. Whereas this one, you're just like, okay, I can see this being a real legend. And I forgot where they're at. To the New Mexico or Mexico. Either way, it's scary as hell. Um, some of the jump scares are kind of just like over try. They they overdid it. And some of them are done really well. And I like the movie. I would give it about an eight out of ten. Rewatchable with friends, definitely by yourself. I wouldn't watch this movie by myself. Uh, <laughs> Just because I don't like watching horror movies by myself, but I can watch them like, like, slasher movies, easy, don't care. But when it comes to, like, Conjuring stuff, no. I would put this on the bracket of Insidious. That's how scary it is, just to give you, uh, kind of a balance. Because you got, in my opinion, you have, how would I rate, how would I rate my movies? You got the slasher movies. Then Sidious movies, and you got the Conjuring movies, and then you got Hereditary. Hereditary, as you know, it it's um, I think it came out in 2018. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Quick search would be this. Yeah, 2018. So it's one of those movies that sets it apart from all the other movies and you're just like holy shiznit it's a pretty terrifying movie and not only because of of just the creep factor but it, the realism in it the symbolism in it that movie is done so well that you're just like oh now midsummer i didn't finish that movie although i need to Need to review that one too, but I just didn't finish that movie. Yet. It's just some, it's, uh, it, it's it's a long story, but other than that, it, it's one of those things. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. But La, Ro La Llorona is um, La Llorona is a uh, pretty good movie. I would watch it. It's got a good cast. It's got good shots. It's got good camera angles, video transitions, all that good stuff. Um, I don't think it's sequel worthy. Obviously, because of the ending, but because of just how it is, it would be cool to see the the characters, the kids when they grow up to be in horror movies. That would be cool to see. I think those uh, the main actors of those are pretty damn good. The the late the mom the mother is pretty. We're all familiar with her, and the 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 priest is pretty familiar. He he's seen in a lot of movies, a lot of good movies, but. That's what I would give it, eight out of ten. It's it's a it's a decent movie. Um, comment down below of what you would want to see, and uh, see me review, and comment of what you would rate this video. But um, yeah, stay tuned for more Hellraiser uh, channel stuff. We got stuff coming uh, every week out. Um, we got gaming segments. We got movie reviews, and then we got hot sauce challenges. So stay tuned for that. And it's about you guys. Remember that. But with further ado, stay frosty, America.